So once again, I'm here to address everything that was said, and now I have to unfortunately expose the real truth. We need to talk about Landon McBroom's response to Shyla. He made some damning claims about Shyla and her lies, but at the same time, he's exposing himself. He illegally recorded Shyla and is now blackmailing her with a variety of receipts. So let's get into it. So as you guys know, Landon McBroom is the younger brother of Austin McBroom. Austin is the face of the Ace family, and Landon used to have a channel with his partner called This Is Ellen S. Unfortunately, the couple broke up earlier this year, but it's been an extremely messy breakup. Shyla actually just exposed Landon and the Ace family on her new channel in a new video. But now Landon is back to respond to Shyla and share his side of the story. The video is over one hour long and it's titled The Real Truth. And if you look at the description, it says proving my innocence, but I don't know if he did exactly that. Before we really dive into this video, I want to play a little clip for you guys. And it's actually at the very end of Landon's video because he pretty much threatens Shyla and it's not okay. So Landon claims that he proved everything wrong in Shyla's video. And he's got some damning footage of Shyla that he's prepared to release if she makes a follow follow-up statement. Again, sounds like a threat to me. I literally broke down and dissected her entire video and almost proven every single thing false. But the crazier part is that I did not show the worst, worst, worst parts of the meeting footage. I did not show you that. The reason why I am not going to show you guys the rest of this meeting footage is because what you are going to see that she did and said, you will never be able to forgive her for. Ever. But I promise you, if she responds to this video with more lies, more playing the victim, then I will have no choice but to show you guys the footage. Let me explain to you guys how serious this footage is. As soon as I posted this on my Instagram, I'm talking immediately right after I received an email from her lawyer talking about they want a cease and desist to not post that video. So it does look like her lawyer sent a cease and desist. And also keep in mind, guys, that it's illegal to record people in California without consent from each party. So um, her lawyer kind of has a uh, one up on Landon. Obviously, it's because Celine's mother knew exactly what was in that video. For those of you who do not know what a cease and desist is, it's basically trying to shut you up or else you'll get in trouble or else you'll sue you. They don't want whatever you're going to say out to the public. They thought that this was gonna scare me into not defending myself. So the reason why I wanted to start off with that clip is because I find it really disturbing that he just went on to make an hour long video combating everything Shyla said, and now he's threatening her at the very end. And even Shyla's mother posted this on her story. She recognizes it as a threat, and I think everyone does as well. And trust me, I love when people go and defend themselves and share their side of the story. We want to hear their side of the story, but I don't know if it did what Lance did intended it to do because it sounds like he wanted to prove his innocence but the fans are not reacting that way here are a couple comments i pulled from the video someone wrote the fact that he said it's funny which you guys will hear that she didn't want to talk about the harm that she went through with him is disgusting which actually landon starts off his video by talking about the fact that shyla didn't really focus on the physical parts of their relationship and uh landon said that that was funny because he doesn't understand why she wouldn't acknowledge the most painful parts, but that's hard to talk about. This person wrote, the way that he speaks for harmed women, I don't think that a harmed woman could ever act that way. Of course, I can't use certain words that are used in this comment. That's how you know he's a narcissistic a uh, criminal, honestly, because he doesn't see the wrong in what he's done. I think it's really weird how in her video, she tried to expose every little part of our relationship. But when it came to, you know, the most serious part, which was the she didn't feel like talking about it and she didn't show any evidence of it. The only piece of evidence that I know of are these one or two photos that were leaked from her side that are kind of showing bruises on her neck or chest area. 
So obviously Landon is trying to negate everything that Shyla has said. And I think it's really disgusting to see him do this because he's taking literal evidence that she has provided and trying to discredit it. There's a reason why her face is not included in those photos and there's a reason why those charges have now been dropped. In that first clip we started off with, Landon talks about this secret footage that he filmed of Shyla, which again, I find really uncomfy because she should have consented to it being filmed. I mean, maybe it wouldn't have been that big of a deal if you guys all filmed it and you had it for everyone's record, but it's wrong when you're over here under a blanket with a microphone trying to hide the fact that you are recording Shyla. And that's exactly what Landon did. Someone called him out in his comment section and wrote, you literally wore a microphone under that blanket. That's enough proof to say that you planned this whole thing. Honestly, the whole thing does feel a little bit planned because they have the secret footage, they have other footage that they plan to use against Shyla, interactions with her own father that are not pretty, just trying to paint Shyla out to be someone who she may not be because it does seem a little bit biased. But let's watch a clip of Landon talking a little bit more about Shyla's injuries. Any injuries that she had during this time that she insinuated that I caused is completely false. Just like how she kept mentioning her foot being broken and being in this boot, uh, Shyla was going through many cosmetic surgeries at this point and a foot surgery was one of them, and here's proof of that. I'm not entirely sure what cosmetic work Shyla would have had done on her foot, but it seems like he's trying to prove that she was not injured by him, but rather had cosmetic surgeries. Here's some footage he included of Shyla leaving some facility after she got surgery on her foot. But this next clip I want to play for you guys, Landon's going to talk a little bit about Shyla harming him, because he also claims that Shyla got physical with him when they would argue. Now I want to bring up a piece of evidence that came from our side that most of you guys have already seen before. Now I want to shed some light on what really happened on that incident and how this video even came about. This incident happened on April 1st. It's easy for me to remember this date because it's the same day that I got my port removed from my cancer treatment. The cancer is another thing I'm going to dive into later on in this video. Um, I want to make sure that it was very crucial for me to touch on that. We'll get back to that. So April 1st night. April 1st night, I am in our bedroom putting my daughter to sleep like I did most nights. Celine's mother comes in the room and she wants to try to argue with me about stuff that we were already arguing about that day. Mind you, my daughter's trying to sleep next to me. She's a ball in her mouth, her eyes are closed. She's damn near asleep. I didn't feel like talking. I dubbed the entire conversation. I'm saying that like, I'm done with you, I'm over it. Like I don't wanna talk, just like, please, I'm not tonight. This made her very upset and she me. In this moment, I'm just sitting there in shock. I didn't even react, I, didn't, I wasn't even speaking afterwards. I would say about five to 10 minutes go by and she again, so not only one time, two times. I believe five to 10 minutes go by and she again. The fact that she was able to assault me twice in a short period of time lets you know how aggressive she really was. After the second time she I get up, I go to the bathroom, our daughter's still asleep. I go to the bathroom and I make a video of my injuries of my neck. I send it to her mother. Mind you, I have never once told anyone in my family, my parents, about any of the incidents, any arguments we've ever had, any bad things that have been said. Not once have I told them anything about Shiloh. So actually the reason why I wanted to include that clip was one to say that it's never okay to get physical either way and also guys can be harmed by women. But the main reason why I wanted to bring this up is because we've actually seen these text messages before because Landon submitted them to the court as evidence. Here are those text messages again and these are between Landon and Shyla's mother, Stacy. And at this point it looks like they're trying to figure out what to do because obviously their relationship, Landon and Shyla's, wasn't going to work. Now Landon talks a little bit about his cancer experience because you guys may remember that Shyla brought up his cancer in her video. Well, he talks about how that hurt him and how the cancer was a big deal for them. The, the most hurtful part is that she said that I used my cancer in my cancer experience to be like to gain sympathy and to get attention from it. More so enjoyed the attention that cancer brought him. Most of you will never know what chemo being your body is like. The truth of the matter is that I didn't want to film my cancer experience. I didn't want to do any of those things. It's embarrassing. If you see how I looked, I didn't look nothing like myself. Um, I didn't even want to talk about it. I didn't want to do any of these things. Like I, it's just something that you just don't want to do. At this time, she put so much stress on me about like, what are we going to do? These bills are going to be crazy, blah, blah, blah. Obviously I wanted to step up and provide in this situation with the only thing I know how, 
which would be talking and sharing with you guys and sharing with the world my cancer experience. He also dives in a little bit deeper and talks about the financial part of it because it was pretty expensive to go through cancer. Obviously, he had decent health care, which God bless, but he talks a little bit about those bills and how they were trying to figure them out. Another thing is I felt like she kept insinuating that she kept paying all these bills and that we had you know, a lot of bills from the cancer experience that she had to deal with and she paid. Another fact about that is that our bill was up to over $300,000. My mom put in countless, countless hours of backing work, going back and forth with insurances, all these different things that she went through. It actually got down to only $8,500. So out of a $300,000 cancer bill, we only paid $8,500 out of our own money. Now we have to talk about the nanny because literally Shyla and Landon used to have a nanny for their daughter, Soline. And this woman is part of Landon's video. She came out to speak about her experience seeing Shyla act this type of way. And I think it's really crazy that she is literally joining the video and the YouTube drama. Landon did provide certain like screenshots to show that they were using a nanny for a very long time. And he provided screenshots to show that they they paid this nanny, but let's go ahead and react to her interview moment because it's definitely a moment. I'm Janelle, Landon and Soline's aunt and also Soline's nanny. My role is to take care of Sol full on and I did. I had her six, six to five days a week, at least 22 hours a day and night. And um, I changed her, I fed her, I bathed her, I took her out to play, I walked with her. That was my purpose of being there, for soul only. She's like, she was like having my own child. My experience with the relationship in the home was very negative. I'm sorry, but what is this body language? Like, it, I know she's like, I'm not saying that she's lying, but like, what is this? It seems very like reserved, maybe not telling the full truth tense, um, a lot of nagging, which was really hard because it was like literally from the time morning till night, um, just a constant nagging. He nagged, nagged him like literally all day until the time they'd go to bed. I would, I could hear her up there nagging him. If, if the closet wasn't clean or the trash wasn't taken out, it was just like, Oh my God, it was like the whole world ended. A lot of darkness in that house, a lot of negativity, which was really, it was heartbreaking, I think, with a with little baby in the house. Landon as a father, wonderful. Uh, the best father that any mother or wife would want for their child. Um, he... He Okay, so this is his aunt, so she is kind of kissing his ass, but we'll hear her out. Would take over changing her. He would bathe her. He would try to put he would put her to sleep during the night. Um if she wasn't with me, then she then she was always with her daddy. Living with her um loves that little girl more than life. I mean, Obviously, I, I, I can't deny that she just loves that baby so much, but she wasn't really present in the home. Um, she was in there. She was at home all the time, but she never really uh, was present in, in Soul's life like she should have been as, as a mom. I still work for Shyla after the breakup because um, the, the plan was for Shyla was going to get her own place. She was going to um, continue to keep me and then Landon was going to get his place close by and he was going to keep me. So I would still work for both of them. I got fired because I wouldn't sign the, in, the NDA. She said her lawyer said I had to sign it. I didn't feel comfortable signing the NDA because that meant I couldn't talk about anything. Like right now, everything was between me and Shyla. I wouldn't have had a problem with that, but it would have been a lie. You know, it just would have been a lie. And um, so I, I told them I wouldn't sign it. So they uh, said, okay, then you need to leave. 
I just want to say, you know, pray for Soul. We love her so much. Her family, you know, we, we don't get to see her uh, like like the way it should be. Soul's family on her dad's side, we don't we don't get to see her. We have visiting rights. You that affects Soul. And all we want is the happiness. We just want Landon to be happy. We want Shyla to be happy. But for Do you see her look away when she said we want Shyla to be happy? <laughs> I don't know if she does, but Soline, we all love her so much. We just want everything to be normal in her life. This is not normal what's going on. And um it, it's not fair. It's not fair to ever have a child not even two years old going through this and it's very heartbreaking it it literally breaks your heart so that was interesting i'm not exactly sure what to think but i have to agree that i feel bad for soline too because she's a literal child and her parents are fighting on the internet in a very immature way landon did talk a little bit about the nda that shiloh wanted his aunt to sign their nanny to sign and he was not happy about that one i also find it really really disrespectful that she's acting like my aunt didn't play a crucial role in our lives and in my daughter's life and helped out tremendously. Mind you, at, even after my last day in the house, she kept my aunt even when I was gone and we weren't talking and it was at the worst of the worst. She still trusted my aunt enough to stay in the house and take care of Soul during that time. So let's talk about the NDA. Like my aunt said, she literally gave her the ultimatum, either basically sign this NDA tonight or leave. My family, the McBrooms never said to sign the NDA. We never asked her. We didn't, we didn't have her try to keep silent about anything. So why are you asking after all this time for my aunt to sign an NDA? I feel like that's something, if you really care about your privacy, that you would have had signed on the first time when you first hired somebody. He also brought up the fact that the day that he was reunited with Soline, Soline went back to Shyla, and I guess she had like a red mark on her neck or something, and the aunt slash nanny was there, and guess what? Shyla accuses the aunt and nanny of harming their daughter, Soline. Here's a text message Shyla sent to the aunt, and oh my gosh, it is a lot. You guys can pause and read. But at the end, she says, you effing ugly, snaggle tooth, gobbly, turkey neck looking, but B word. Oh my gosh, she went in on her, which honestly, I don't really agree with this type of behavior, but we're just trying to piece together this story and we've got to listen to both sides to fill in the gaps. Now let's move on and talk about the kidnapping situation because that was a big part of Shyla's story. She believed that Landon and his family were conspiring to kidnap Soline. Well, Landon claims that this could have never happened because he actually had a restraining order against him at that time, so he couldn't take Soline anywhere, especially not to Miami to go watch the boxing event. She literally said that my mom was basically conspiring to kidnap my daughter and take her to Miami against her will. That is the furthest thing from the truth that never happened. My mother would literally never say anything like that. That's, that would never happen. False. And all this happening during while I already have a restraining order, that just doesn't make any sense. My mom would not do that. He also shares some travel plans that show that Soline was never gonna be a part of the trip, but I still feel a little iffy about this situation because I don't quite understand who to believe because I do feel like Shyla did hear Landon speaking to his mom about that trip. So who really knows? Mind you, this exact time before I even left to Miami, the mother already had a restraining order against me, which also included Soline, so I couldn't even be around her regardless. So what do you mean? I, I, this is my house though. You're not allowed to come here for five days. This is my house though. But it says on here. Watching Landon react to that paperwork like, oh, uh, well, this is my house. Well, you can't come into it according to the law. But I want to talk a little bit about the finances because there's one part in Shyla's video where she claims that Landon and his mother, Nicole, are working together to pretty much steal her money. Well, Landon claims that they have a joint account. And the reason why his mother would be involved in their joint account is because his mother was, I guess, helping him manage his finances. And there was one clip that he included where Shyla does 
does admit to having this joint account with him. My bank info, which I did not give permission. Through my he's bank asking, info. He's asking for, no. It's, it's my, it's joint. my. It's joint. So the same I thing. I don't get why she kept saying personal when clearly it's a joint account. It's joint, it's joint. Then Landon talks a little bit more about their finances and how they made their money. 90 8% of our money came from YouTube. The other 2% was brand deals, stuff like that, but everything really stemmed from this selling this. For example, if I would've got a brand deal for some men's company that I only did by myself, I still would've never had the opportunity without this is LNS. I'm surprised that they made most of their money through YouTube because they really didn't post that often. And I feel like if they make all their money from YouTube, I mean, what have they been doing these last four or five months? But I do wanna talk a little bit about the loan situation because Shyla brings up a loan in her video and Landon wants to talk a little bit more about that loan. We just talked about with this loan because that was this big thing. This whole thing had to do with money. After I decided to be done with her, I also decided to stop filming with her. Probably a week after we broke up, she wanted to continue to film as if nothing happened. I said, I am done with you. I don't want to do this. I will scratch whatever new money could come in. I do not want to film with you. I will take that out. I don't want to do that. That's not what I want to do. So not only did it become a heartbreak issue, but in her eyes, it became a now you're messing with my money issue. In her eyes, I wasn't bringing any money to our the table anymore because now I'm not running the YouTube, which was how we made 99% of our income. To her, that's like, I'm not doing anything I'm not providing anymore. So from that on forward, since all of our bills were being paid with basically our reserves, what we've saved off of this is LNS, in her mind, that's me owing her money because there's no like new money to be paid, I guess. So during this breakup, during this time, she kept wanting to pick fights with me. She kept wanting to argue about things. She kept wanting to talk randomly about assets and, and pick fights often. And it's this not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to talk. So obviously when you're irritated and you're reluctant to talk to somebody, every, every time they bring something up, you're just going to want to like tell them what they want to hear just so they get out of your face. So me saying like, yeah, yeah, it was more like a, yeah, like, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I got it, yeah, I'll ask about it tomorrow. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do it, for sure, yeah. I'll owe you that? Okay, okay, cool. It was more like that. It wasn't like I was really saying I'm gonna pay you anything. So at this time, she's trying to basically keep us hostage, keep my daughter hostage, and not let us leave till my dad's birthday. She just wanted to talk about this money thing. So in that time, I'm over here like, w like whatever you gotta do, if you wanna call my mom about this situation, do what you gotta do, but do it outside the car. Let me leave, please. I don't wanna deal with this. You can do whatever you want, but I want to leave. I want to take my daughter. You already knew that I was going. I need to get to my dad's house. So in this time, she calls my mother. Here's a video of that. So what Landon is actually getting into there was the day that Shiloh reported an attempted kidnapping because Landon was going to go and take uh, his daughter, their daughter, out with him to go to some type of birthday event. But Shiloh wasn't having it and she wanted to talk about the finances and really didn't want to let him go. So he shares a little bit of footage from that moment. Call your mom. Call your mom. Call your mom. No, you know what? I don't even want you to take my daughter anymore. I don't trust you guys. You guys are trying to take my daughter. You're trying yeah. to make this whole narrative. But I don't trust you. Psycho. I don't you're trust really you. I'm so. If you take everything. her, that's kidnapping. So I said no. So yeah. you wanna? My you, dad, it's my dad's birthday. Okay, then call though. your mom. Ask for a loan. Figure. Uh, there's it's not my, one thing in my, there. It's my dad's there was not birthday. one thing in there about a loan to anybody. Because I checked. What are you saying? I didn't obviously didn't text anything so to who? my mom. So who? Who's at, who are you getting a loan from? Is that, I'm working with my mom. Doesn't okay, mean then anything. call her. Is it matter? Call I, her. I, I have to. I'm leave. done playing with you. Call I already her. told her. I spoke then to you, her. and I said by then Sunday I'll have an update. Then call her. That's what I, that's call what I just her. told then you. Then call her. Call her. I have to leave. Call her. No, we don't have call any her. issues. I call need her. To leave. No, I'm tired of playing with you. I asked you for an update. I just. But I, I just asked you for an update. We just spoke about it. What else do you want? I just texted you. I texted you. Where's my update? Obviously, I don't have it. I just spoke my mom. Call her then. Call her. She just called you. Just call her. We just talked. Call we, her. we just talked. Call her. Call her. Call Please. her. We, That's not we, okay. That's we, not okay. We just, we just. Look, I knew you we were just, doing some shady shit. I cannot trust you. Like, I knew spoke. you were doing some shady shit. I know you're trying to take advantage. You are, Landon. You're psycho. Okay, I'm so sorry you feel that way. I don't care. But you're actually crazy. Okay, when it though. comes to my daughter, I'm going to be crazy every time. No, no, I'm gonna you're come, crazy. I'm going to be, I'm gonna, when no. it comes to my daughter, I'm going to be crazy daughter, every time. It's coming to me and okay. you. You're just okay. crazy. Why, what am I crazy about with you? I just need to leave. What am I you already knew where I was you? going. I said, I'm going to go. What am I? Okay, I already spoke to you about it. So I don't know what you want to do for me. Call I can do it at the exact moment. Call your mom. I'm not I just speaking called her. to my mom call right your mom, now. Please. Then you could call her. I'm not talking to my mom right now. You can speak to my mom if you'd like to. That's not okay. That's not okay. Hi, are you going to be loaning Landon money to pay me back? 
Oh, you don't have to speak to her, Mom. I'm going to talk to you. My mom's not going to talk Hello, to you. I have so to leave. Landon said that he was asking you for a loan to pay me back by then You can do You can talk to my mom in there. I'm trying to confirm. I'm sorry, go ahead. He owes me over $100,000. He hasn't been bringing in money in the past three months. Okay. And I know you know because I, I saw, uh, okay. I went through his phone and I saw you talking all this shit. So I know you know you went through my she, bank she, gra she grabbed my Stop, she grabbed please. my phone please and her locked her herself in the red. Mom, don't talk to her, mom. No, like, bro, just hang up. You. Are you letting me money or are you letting me to phone the train? That's what I want to know. You're crazy. I have to just talk. To I don't care about that. I don't care about a relationship with you or Landon. I would like to just move on. He owes me money. He owes me money regardless. Talk to my mom. Listen, 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 listen. I'm about to get disrespectful with you in a minute. I don't respect you anymore. I don't really give a f about you, frankly. Okay, let's go through it then, you stupid bitch. Like, your mom's well, a piece of Dude. insane to me okay like dude no it's I not okay never disrespect your mom it's not like okay because your mom's, no, my mom's never done anything to you just go, just go. my mom's never done anything okay, to you go, my mom's go. never I, done I, anything I, I to you my mom now Landon's not trying to pay me any money no no one even said like, anything will, oh my god i will flip out i don't give a f about her like i literally will go ham okay. i do not get Landon. You're not I, taking my daughter because I don't trust you. Your mom. You need help, You should Shyla? ask your mom what Shyla. she talked to my mom Shyla. about yesterday. Shyla, and then you inform help. yourself. You need inform help. Shyla, you need help. Inform seriously. Inform yourself. You need help. No, seriously. You I'm need not, help. I'm not, I'm not being funny. Help. There's a part in that video where I literally am saying, I just want to leave. And she says, give me my money. What am I crazy about with you? Birthday, what am I crazy soul. about with you? Just give me my money. So there's a lot to unpack there. Obviously, Shiloh was having some type of breakdown or anxiety attack or something in that moment. And I feel like it's a little bit disrespectful that he's bringing this back up because I don't know. I don't know if there's like that much to take away from there besides the fact that she feels financially unstable, I guess, without Landon and I guess is expecting him to pay her some type of money back or some type of loan or some type of situation. It does seem like they're using their daughter Soline as leverage, which isn't cool in my opinion, but I also don't know exactly how Landon is using this clip to uh, benefit himself because it just seems like a really dark situation and nothing that really makes like, I don't know, either like Landon look really great or Shiloh look extremely bad. She just seems like she's not mentally well there. Here's a clip of Landon talking a little bit more about that day if that doesn't show you something i think that's very strange during this time when i'm asking them pleading with her to leave she says go get soul get her ready and then you can leave so i go inside i bring soul back outside when i come with soul with her bag with everything prepared to leave that's when she finally opens the door and trusts and wants to talk but now she's yelling and it's loud everybody's hearing it at this time that's when Joseph stepped in like he's done multiple times to take Celine away from the situation. We're arguing, it's not healthy. He's done this multiple times. Joseph walks away with Sol, just goes around the corner like he's done multiple times. Her mother, Celine's mother, sees Joseph walk away with our daughter for a good period of time, maybe five minutes goes by. In that five minute period, it only gets worse. I'm still remaining calm as you can see in the video, but her voice gets super, super loud. We have neighbors wondering what's going on. Joseph comes back with Celine and tells us to go inside. When he says to go inside, her mother turns towards Joseph and she's already mad about Joseph for whatever reason, but she's basically saying like, and you like, I don't even know what the fuck you're doing. Give me my daughter back. Not only that, just like you saw in the video, she's walking towards Joseph aggressively trying to take salt from him. Give me my daughter. Just go, just go. No, stop, stop. He's known her for years. He can see that she's not normal, that something's wrong, that she's super enraged. He says, like, no, like, what are you doing? I'm, I'm going to continue to walk away because she's not, doesn't look like she can be taking soul right now. As Joseph's walking away, I tell Joseph, just keep walking, just keep walking, you're fine, just keep walking. I, I tell Joseph to keep walking. Never did he ever get in the car, never did he even touch the car, never did that happen. He walked around the corner like he did the first time. When he starts walking away, Celine's mother, says like, what are you doing? Like, I'm gonna call 911, start, goes, goes on the phone and starts calling 911. Then Landon shares a clip of Shyla and Joe getting into it during that heated moment. Like, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. You, you're a piece of I don't care, I don't care. I don't care. You, you're a piece of I don't care, I don't care. 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 I
So at this point, everything is extremely tense and stressful. And then they decide to bring in some mothers into the mix. Maybe five minutes after that, Celine's grandma, Celine's mom's mom, shows up to the house. When she gets there, Celine's mom is still not trying to let her leave. She's trying to say that, you know, I don't want to trust you, blah, blah. She's so stuck up on this money thing. She's not letting me leave. When Celine's grandma gets there, she has to literally plead with the mom to let me leave, saying that everything's gonna be fine. She literally calms her down and lets me leave. And I maybe leave about five minutes after that, Joseph comes with me. So it's me, Joseph, and my daughter, and we leave to my dad's house that afternoon, right after that incident. We also return to the house that same night around 10 p.m. There was no kidnapping that ever happened on that day. It's interesting to hear this side of the story because I think back to that TMZ article where they talk about the attempted kidnapping. Maybe it was made out to be more serious than it actually was. But I also can't imagine how Shiloh was feeling having every single person against her besides her own mother, but it seems like her world is turning against her. But now let's go ahead and talk about the secret footage because it looks like Landon is really trying to expose Shiloh and he's got some footage that proves that she's not a good person. In this meeting, we discuss the splitting of everything, the splitting of assets, bills, cars. We talk about basically the lease. We talk about everything involving this breakup. Mind you, during this meeting, I don't have a restraining order yet. I don't have any charges at all. This is also the last time that her and I ever spoke. So the reason why Landon claims that he has this footage and this audio recording is because Joseph was scared for their own well-being. Thankfully, at this time, the only reason why we have this footage is because Joseph was scared and was filming to protect himself. Mind you, again, this is days after he's already an alleged kidnapper. I don't think being scared gives you any leverage in the face of the law when it comes to illegally recording people, but there was a moment where you can see Joseph was with Soleen and they were all getting along and Landon wanted to include this clip to show that, you know, Shyla and Joseph did used to get along at one point. If there should be a blanket on the bottom, not in every first. There used to be. Uh, uh, yeah, there goes, there goes when it comes to the beginning of that meeting, actually Shyla presented uh, Landon's mother, McCall, a gift. And it seems like she was trying to start off on good terms. So now let's talk about how the meeting started. To start off the meeting, Celine's mother goes and apologizes to my mom and ends up giving her a gift. But I hope going forward, any issues, we cannot take that route. And we can call each other and say, here, this is what, can you work this out with me? And I hope we can do that. And we got you this for Mother's Day. And for Grandma Shirley, and I just thought like that was a good starting point to just start off with that. Thank you. So it seems like things are starting off on the right foot because Shyla's being kind and actually McCole starts off being kind as well. Celine's mother tried to paint my mom as this person who was trying to basically finesse her, trying to take her money, was trying to say she didn't need a lawyer, was super unfair, all these things, which was completely untrue. You're going to see how my mother started the conversation and how her intro to the conversation really was. So why would I say thank you for saying that? I appreciate that and I accept your apology. Um, I just want to set everyone's intentions for today. So I know you said you want to really close. Let me grab my phone. Like my mother. So I just want everyone to be able to set their intentions because I know you said Lion just listen, but in reality, everyone has to be able to give input, right? But in a timing that's fair to everybody, like we have to listen. So my intention for this whole meeting and for even getting involved in everything, because um, as you both know, I don't get involved in your business, right? The only time I'm pulled into your business is when something comes up, right? or there's something with the landlord, something with the bill, something like that. That's the only time I get involved. I don't ask your finances. I don't get involved in your finances. Um, so I just want to put that out there. The only reason I'm involved now is because it got to the point where Landon didn't know what was going on. And he was just based on what was said. He's like, hey, I need your help. Can we look at my account? Right? So that's the reason for this. So in going through all this, my intention is that since you guys are no longer going to be together and that was your decision is that everything is done fairly right 
And also too, my intention is since I'm a business person, I know business, is to have give you guys an understanding which you, Shyla, should, and I always encourage this, you don't take people's words. You go and get counsel, right? You go and research and you do the work. This is just me giving you my knowledge. I've done some research. I do, I've do. i consulted with Landon with a, a, a lawyer. So we know just factual things, not emotional things. Nothing, nothing emotional, right? These are just factual because with business and owning a business, you can't just verbally say things and it goes away, right? It has to be in writing. It has to be legally done because this is a legal entity. It's not a personal entity, meaning talking about elements. Mm -hmm. I cannot get over how involved Nicole is in their son's relationships. Like they need a professional mediator because obviously this isn't working. And Landon actually included a clip where Shyla talks a bit about their YouTube channel because he wanted to call her out for lying. And she goes, as far as the YouTube channel, Landon wants that back. It's like, <laughs> I never took it. Like, okay. So let's talk about, let's not look at this. Yet. Let's talk about the big pictures, YouTube. I already made the request with YouTube. I never took it. Like, they're already changing it on the back end. So that's something that we have to figure out because you can no longer have that channel. I already requested this is all this is done. You guys literally just heard what she said, right? I already made the request with YouTube. They're already changing it on the back end. She said that she basically took it. It's, it's already done now. It's been done. It's mine. That's literally what she just said. I already made the request with YouTube. They're already changing it on the back end. Who knows what's happening to their YouTube channel because it doesn't look like either party has ownership of it, but Landon continues talking about this meeting and of course it gets pretty heated and Shyla gets mad and Landon includes this in his video. As you can see, everything that she said about this meeting was a complete lie. Now I'm gonna show you guys some clips from the meeting showing you who the real aggressor was and how aggressive she really is. No, you don't get to change your own mind. Oh, don't, don't. I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> You literally are psychotic. No, don't, don't. I'm done. Shyla, I'm don't. Done. I'm done. Sit down. Don't. You need to get this done. Sit down. I'm calling Shyla. my attorney. No. Shyla, sit no. down. No. Sit down. No. 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 You're a piece of Shyla, keep your emotions in check. So, okay, so I'm getting that head. Alright, don't finish this conversation. No, 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 no. I don't want you to sit next to me. No, I don't care what you want. I'm no. a girl. I'm a girl. Get out. No. Get out if you're going to be rude. I'm sitting here. You don't get to determine okay, what I'm saying. Okay, but you don't be rude. Then she, she, no, she, no, 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 no. I don't want you to say Then you okay. move. Shyla, she, she's not doing anything at this point. You have to give me facts. Shyla, you need to calm down. Okay, then tell her to shut the Now let's switch gears and talk about a moment that Shyla shared. She shared a video clip in her video where she was very emotional and upset. She was driving around in the car with her daughter and she didn't know what to do. Well, Landon actually shared footage of this moment leading up to that moment and he's showing the camera that he was never trying to uh, kidnap his daughter. He was never trying to take her away from Shyla. But as you guys can see, Shyla was really emotional in her video footage for whatever reason. Reason. And personally, I feel like it's because she just had a breakdown in the car after, you know, sitting there and realizing everything she's gone through. You're going to try to kidnap her or something? I do not trust you. It was extra. She just yeah. needed to lay down. Okay. You didn't have to do that. I don't trust you. You're literally okay. just, I was going to make sure you get her in the car. Yeah. Buckle it in yesterday, so I'll buckle it in. Yeah, we Because you're trying to set me up. I know you're doing a recording. You're yeah, trying to set I, me no, up. No, just get your guys to do something crazy. Obviously. What would I do that was crazy? I haven't done I'm just saying, crazy. but she was asleep. You could have just let her go back no, to the house. You're, you, I have made it clear that but you're stop trying to take my child. But stop talking about us. Stop talking about us. You're trying to take my child. I'm not, trying, I'm not trying to take her. I'm not trying to take her, obviously. Yes, you are. Oh, how? Dude, you're sneaky. You're literally trying to take her. You're trying to go over here, go behind my back. And one thing you're not going to take is my child. No one's gonna take her. I don't know, I know where you're you're not gonna take her. No one's taking her anywhere. I know you're not gonna take her. Okay, but just, just please calm down though. Like, I know this. that. I know you're not gonna take her. No, no, she's not going nowhere, Shyla. I know. I know she's not. Okay, but she's just gonna go. She needs to go to sleep. She's gonna go to sleep. At this time, this is when she made the video crying with Celine in the front seat with her. No one will believe me. And right now, we have Mama. We're sitting parked right now in the car because I'm fearful to go home. 
I believe they're trying to kidnap my daughter. Uh, no one's gonna take her. I don't know where they're They've stolen. Landon and his mom have stolen. So we could assume that maybe she drove around a little bit and just had a little breakdown because she was so overwhelmed with everything going on. But of course, Landon is trying to use this moment against her, which I understand he's trying to give more context to the situation. And thank God he wasn't trying to kidnap his daughter, but it still doesn't look good. In the next part of Landon's video, he talks a little bit about the unregistered gun, which is something I still find a little bit sketchy because he supposedly had possession of this gun for about a month. He was trying it out and he never actually bought it. I didn't think guns could go unregistered. I mean, obviously, like, like they're not registered, but like they're registered to a person. So it's weird that he had like someone else's gun in his possession, but he clarifies a little bit about that situation in this clip. So never ever did I ever own an illegal gun. I held on to a unregistered weapon for a short period of time. I've only ever had one handgun. It was a registered handgun in my name, perfectly legal. I have a family member who is in the gun business. He is a gun collector. He knows a lot of gun resellers. He asked me if I wanted to buy a handgun from someone who was selling a handgun that he knows. He said, you can hold on to it for a while. You can play with it. You can shoot it, mess with it. If you want it, it's yours. You can buy it. I held on to it. When I held on to it, I didn't do anything with it. I forgot about it. I was too busy. I didn't shoot it one time. Obviously, time went by. He wanted it back because clearly I wasn't going to buy it anymore. When he asked for it back, I remember that I returned the gun in no gun case because I must have misplaced it. I don't really remember why, but he wasn't tripping because he's my family member. So the first time around when I was asked about this gun, I said no, because I've only ever owned one gun. I didn't remember that I held on to a gun for a short period of time, less than a month, a short period of time. Towards the end of Landon's video, he starts going through a bunch of different points, and we're not going to touch on all of them, but he's going to talk a bit about Shyla's injuries, which I really, really cringe at this part because it seems like he's trying to just discredit her over everything, but he does bring up the finger incident where he supposedly hurt her finger, and here's a little bit where Landon talks about that. Now let's talk about how she showed the police her injuries to get a restraining order. I said that my injuries, they granted me an emergency restraining order and emergency protective order uh, over our daughter. So Lane's mother says the word injuries. I showed the police my injuries, not injury. That means plural. The only injury that we know of is the finger. The only other injury is the boot. And we all know the situation with the boot. And if the boot was showed to the police to get this restraining order, then that means the restraining order is false. I want to end this video by talking about Shyla's father. For whatever reason, his Instagram is no longer active, probably because Landon brought him up in this recent video, and it's actually disgusting because he's trying to use Shyla's relationship with her father against her and actually use words that Shyla's father has said in the past to benefit him. I'm going to play that clip right here, but I think it's incredibly disturbing and disrespectful. Now let's talk about her father who she goes in a little bit and tries to discredit him because of how he's been on, you know, substance abuse. He's been on and off drugs. He has these mental health issues, yada, yada, yada. She also says that she hasn't talked to him in five years. That's false. She's talked to him randomly throughout those five years whenever she needed him for some random job. How I personally feel as well is that regardless of these issues that you're claiming that the dad has, he still knows her. He still knows his own daughter. And he also said a lot of things that were really true. Here are some clips of him just talking about our situation. My ex-wife and my daughter are very unstable right now. And she'd be better with the McBrooms, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that they would uh, harm her. I think they would have just as much love as I would. And Shyla, y'all cut the out, you know what I'm saying? Lying on people is not cool. And I know she's lying because I can show you a damn near restraining order from 20 years ago that she had against me and it damn near says the same So it's pretty simply to say, and your mom took you down there and held your hand and got this restraining order against this guy. You know what I'm saying? I know Landon's a little f and I know that uh, if he was f up, you'd get out of there. You, know, you guys are probably like, yo, that's pretty cool. That's his daughter, and he's full taking sides. You know what side I'm on? I'm on the baby side. That's the side I'm on. And I'm just keeping it real. I love my daughter with all my heart. Only roughly around three years ago, this incident happened where she was her father. Oh, 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 hit me too. Oh, no, lock my door. Let's go. Get in the car. Let's go. You're a liar. You're a liar. Let's and this incident happened to be around Fiji. If you know LNS, if you know us, you know Fiji, our friendship that we used to have. That was not five years ago. 
I'm not entirely sure why Landon is trying so hard to, you know, call her out on the timeline and really exploit her relationship with her father. But actually, Shyla's brother did have a reaction to Landon's recent video, and he put up a picture of a donkey on his Instagram story, obviously making fun of Landon's appearance and his big teeth. You guys know that we do not condone that type of bullying, but this is Shyla's little brother, so he's going to defend his sister and call out Landon. There was so much to unpack from this video and it was a lot going through it all so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any other video ideas for me here's my email below but let's go ahead and open a p.o box package item also we need to talk about like our final thoughts like what do you guys think like do you think shyla is innocent here do you think uh, landon is guilty do you think landon is innocent because he's trying to prove his innocence honestly i feel like it's a really disgusting situation and i don't think landon has done himself justice i do feel like um I know there's certain things that, yes, he did shed light to. You cannot deny that. You cannot ignore that. But there's also certain aspects that were so disrespectfully talked about that it's hard for me to listen to what Landon is saying. So let's go ahead and read this um, letter. Hi Sloan, my name is Savannah. I love your videos. I watch them as soon as they come out and I binge watch the old ones while I wait for new ones. Aw, you are such a sweet guy and seem very down to earth. I'll be watching your videos while I drive. Oh, be careful. And be like, oh yeah, Sloan, tell them. <laughs> Aw. I have a small business where I make handmade jewelry and... Oh, rings? Cool. I've included a little dish. Oh, a ring dish type of situation. Okay. I don't know if they are big enough or not. You can always give them to your sister. I think that's what she wrote. Sorry. I was like, it's a little bit hard for me to read this one. Um, I've also included my business card. Awesome. I'll share everything below. Thank you so much, Savannah. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I really appreciate this sweet letter. Let's go ahead and check it out. And I love that you go and watch the old videos as well. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love the way. Also, the packaging is great. Sticker is on point. And then we've got the um, business card here, which is really cool. I love how it's like modern and hip. Oh, you guys have such an eye for these things. Oh my gosh, she said earrings. I told you guys that I was struggling with um <laughs> with how to read those. Okay, so earrings is what she's talking about. Oh yeah, and I don't have my ears pierced, but I could definitely gift these to my sister or something. These are so cute. It looks like a snake inside of it. And then right here, what is this? Is this a necklace or something? Um, oh, it is. Look at that. It's like a gold necklace with some type of something on it. I'll have to reread her note and see exactly like what that is. But wow, that is so cool. It's so funky too. I love that. And then we've got the ring case. Oh my gosh, the ring like, or what's it called? Ring tray container thing. Wow. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. I love how you like made this too. Like, what's it made out of? It's kind of like bendy. Kind of feels like it's like a, almost like a foam in a way but wow this is so cute thank you so much savannah i really appreciate it Ooh, let me fix this one but thank you so much i'm so glad that you enjoy my videos and i can't wait to see you guys in a new one soon bye guys